I really want to start investing, but I don't have thousands to spare. If you have a workplace pension, that's already being invested on your behalf. You can start investing in assets like stocks, index funds and ETFs with as little as 10 pounds a month through a stocks and shares ISA. Okay, but why can't I just keep the money in my savings account like most people? What's the point of investing? A savings account is a great start. You'll get more interest, basically free money than in a current account. But these days, savings account pay savers a max of 5 or 6%. The thing with investing is, although it comes with some risk, it's a way to potentially get a higher percentage or return on your money than in a savings account. To see good returns on investing takes a long time. When investments can go up or down, you'll generally see the best results if you leave your money in them for as long as you can. So think 5 to 10 years or more. Anyone who's promising you wild profits with a quick turnaround time is probably lying. Okay, so maybe not a plan for the car fund, but I could try and put aside a little bit of my salary every month and watch it grow. Great plan. Just make sure you have an emergency fund before you start investing. Wait, what's an emergency fund? An emergency fund is basically three to six months of your living expenses saved up should you have an emergency like a redundancy or long-term illness. This is amazing information. They really should teach us this in school. How do you know all of this? I'm Eleni Well Sarah and I share the best personal finance tips online. That's why everyone follows me.